Hello friends, I am Aditya. In this video, I am going to discuss about the components, process flow diagram, electrical circuit, general electrical problems and maintenance tips for UF UV purifiers. Let me remind you, UF stands for ultra filtration and UV stands for ultraviolet radiation ranging from 190 nanometer to 400 nanometer wavelength in this case. So first let me come to the parts of a common UF UV purifier. We can separate parts into two groups. One is related to the filtration and other is related to the operation. In the filtration process of UF UV purifier, inline sediment filter inline activated carbon block filter, UF membrane cartridge and UF disinfection cartridge are involved. While in electrical operation and storage, there are adapter, float switch, solenoid valve, ultraviolet lamp and storage tanks are involved. Let me discuss the design and operation of the solenoid valve in a purifier. Solenoid valve is an electromechanical device which consists of extended spring, magnetic core, solenoid, rubber valve and a chamber. In a water purifier normally closed two way 24 volts DC operated solenoid valve is used to prevent the tank overflow due to the inlet water pressure. Normally closed solenoid valve remains closed till it gets power and water cannot flow. Once it gets power, water flows in the purifier. Generally solenoid valve is provided after the inline sediment filter. The role of solenoid valve in any electrically operated water filter is to stop the flow of water as soon as the storage tank reaches to its highest level or it gets filled. Float switch cut or stop the 230 volt AC main supply of the whole purifier as soon as the storage tank completely filled but it does not stop the physical flow of water due to the inlet pressure. Physical flow of water is stopped by the solenoid valve. Float switch is an electromechanical device which consists of a spring, an air bag and a switch. When a storage tank fills air bag of the device exerts a pressure against the spring of switch and cut the main supply. As soon as the main cuts, solenoid valve close the water flow and ultraviolet lamps turns off. No power consumed by the purifier once tank get filled, which is an ideal situation. In this animation process flow of a typical UF UV purifier, is explained. Starting from the ball valve where the tap water flows in a pre-sediment filter that remove typically 5 micron size suspended impurities. Outlet of pre-sediment filter then fed to the main UF UV purifier. In this UF UV purifier It goes to the inlet of the inline sediment filter. This filter further removes the suspended impurities. Then outlet of the sediment filter goes to the inline activated carbon block filter. Though through a solenoid valve, activated carbon filter removes the dissolved chlorine. 
outlet of the carbon filter goes to the inlet of the UF cartridge. UF removes the suspended impurities up to 0.05 micron size. Outlet of the ultra filtration then fed to the inlet of the ultraviolet cartridge where the ultraviolet radiation 190 nanometer to the 400 nanometer in wavelengths kills the germs and bacteria present in the water. The outlet of the ultraviolet then goes to a mechanical process flow controller. Low flow rate of the process is important for the disinfection of disinfection during the UV treatment. As soon as the storage gets over or the tank gets filled, float switch cut the main supply and solenoid valve stops the flow of water and ultraviolet light also turns off. So there is no power taken by the purifier as the storage tank get filled. This slide shows a typical electrical controls of a UF UV purifier. Main supply goes to the adapter through a normally closed float switch. As soon as the tank get over, float switch cut the main supply and solenoid valve stop the flow of water. And the ultraviolet light also turns off. So, there is no power taken by the purifier as the tank get over or filled. In this slide, I am going to discuss some problems regarding the UV UF purifier. Other than the cartridge choking and low inlet pressure, the most common problem one can encounter with any storage water purifier is the tank overflow. If tank overflows, check for the UV lamp. If it is glowing, it means there is a problem in the float switch. Means it is not cutting the main supply. In this case, you can switch off the mains and try manual clicking and check for normal operation. If you are lucky, it might work for you or you have to replace the float switch. In other case, if tank overflows and UV lamp is off, then it is a problem of solenoid valve. You can try to open the solenoid valve and check for any impurity stuck in the operation or just expand the length of the spring make sure you should not expand it too much not more than 1 to 2 mm and reassemble the solenoid valve and check if you are lucky you are done or you have to replace the solenoid valve. In this slide, I am going to discuss about some tips and maintenance. Using pre-sedimental uh, filter may enhance the performance of filter and could increase the life of inline sediment and carbon filter. Sediment and carbon cartridge should be replaced within a year. UV lamp should be replaced at least after 12 months. A storage tank of purifier should be drained at least once in a month. Tap of purifier should remain closed after use. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel by pressing the bell button below. Thanks. Please share if you like the video.